Welcome to Mechanical Tutorial. I am going to teach you different techniques in SOLIDWORKS for mechanical engineers. I am going to train you different modules like part modeling, surface modeling, sheet metal enclosure design, plastic components design, product design, reverse engineering, simulation and many more tips and tricks in SOLIDWORKS. Hi, today I am going to explain about error message zero thickness geometry in SOLIDWORKS. Most of the times we come across zero thickness error while creating a model. So I am going to show you how to resolve zero thickness geometry. See so I am going to explain with this model. So how to resolve this zero thickness issue. So I am going to explain with the extruded boss. See, I have taken a sketch. So when I create an extrude boss, see here, it create an extrude boss without an issue. Now if I apply tangency to this circle and this edge and try to create extruded boss, see here and say ok, unable to create this feature because it could result in zero thickness error. So we are not able to create this, so we are not able to come out of this sketch. So I am going to show you how to resolve this issue. So initially what we have to do is we have to remove this tangency, delete this tangency. We have to draw one line, construction line and uh, connecting this circle and this edge and we have to dimension up to 3 decimals that is triple zero one it is almost negligible so when I say ok it is almost equal to 0 see here you do not see any value so when I create this extrude boss so it creates this model see here and it exactly touches this one so similarly when we create extrude cut so there is a gap in between this so when I create extrude cut with this sketch see here. So, there is no error at all. So, now the same sketch if I apply tangency here. So, it is exactly touching this. There is no material over here. So, when I create this cut out, so I have to flip the other direction, see unable to create this feature because it could result in zero thickness. So, we cannot come out of the sketch. So, here similarly 
like we did for extruded boss we have to remove the tangency see here what we have to do is go to smart dimensions select this edge this point simply place this dimension and go to leaders see minimum value so we have to apply this minimum value and say ok here we have to assign dimension triple zero one which is neg negligible see here it shows zero value now when I apply extrude cut command so we have to flip this and save it so it automatically creates so this is how we resolve most of the zero thickness error in SOLIDWORKS model so this is brief about error message zero thickness geometry in SOLIDWORKS thanks for watching